Okay, we have inserted the laser beam like this. Okay, and suppose this is the center, the exact center of the laser. Okay, and now uh, the exact center have the maximum intensity and if you look at the, the beam profile, beam profile would be like this. In the center, the intensity would be large. When you're moving away from the center, the intensity reduces. And what would happen is, uh, we know that the nonlinear refractive index has two portion, the linear portion plus some constant times e square. So uh, depending upon the intensity, uh, where the, if the intensity is large, the refractiveness would be large. So at this point, the refractive index would be more. And when you're moving away from the center, the refractive index decreases. Okay, so then this chi 3 will act as a lens. This chi 3 medium will act as a lens. So it is like this. Suppose if you have, if you have the original lens, and you incident a parallel beam of ray or a plane wave. If you incident a plane wave to it, then uh, uh, the different point in this plane wave has to travel the different distance. Okay, so here it has to travel more distance, lesser distance when you're moving. Uh, away from the center of the lens. Okay, so therefore what happens is um, uh, the uh, the rays uh, which is on the side of the lens will come out first. This will come out first. And the ray which is uh, passing through the center will come later. Okay, and hence uh, the, the wave front will become curved. And finally, this wave front will focus at one particular point. So this is uh, the physics behind the lenses. Now here, uh, what what actually happens is uh, uh, the optical path is different at the different points of the lens. The optical path usually called as a product of uh, the refractive index and the length. Okay, so here, uh, in case of uh, the normal lens, the refractive index would be constant throughout, but the length would be different. So here, the length is L1. Here, the length is L2. The L2 is uh, greater than L1. So the path, the optical path, is greater at the center compared to the the optical path on the sides. So this is the way uh, we can uh, focus a light using a convex lens. Okay. Now the another way to uh, vary the optical path is you can vary the refractive index keeping the length the same. So that we can do it here. So if you have a nonlinear crystal like this and you incident a laser beam, so at the center it is having a greater refractive index and the refractive index reduces when you're moving uh, away from the center. So, uh, okay, so if initially, if you have a plane wave, if you have a plane wave, then after reaching this inside the crystal, this plane wave will be converted into a curved or a, a parabolic wavefront. So the wavefront changes. The plane wave to the curved wavefront. So this basically what happens is you can finally focus at one point. Or the, the other way is, since the, uh, the refractiveness is greater at the center, uh, the light which is passing through the center will have uh, the smaller speed and the light uh, uh, at the edges of uh, the laser beam will have the higher speed. Okay, so that way also you can explain it. So this center speed would be smaller, so it can cover lesser distance. And at the edges, the speed would be larger and it can cover more distance. And it is due to the variation refractive index because refractive index is related to speed. So the greater refractive index means smaller the speed. The refractive index is inversely proportional to speed. 
So the center uh, beam, this uh, the center portion of the beam will travel uh, with a slow speed, and uh, the the edge side of the beam will travel with a higher speed due to the uh, the intensity variation of the refractive index. And finally, it will lead to a focusing of the light at some point. Now, uh, it depending upon uh, the length of this crystal, it may be either inside the crystal or outside the crystal. So we can focus the light. Um, uh, just using a nonlinear media, Kytrin, a third order nonlinear media. So, this process is called as cell focusing. So, remember the cell focusing uh, uh, phenomena uh, may not be possible in case of normal light because this is a, a third order nonlinear process. So sufficient intensity is required, a very high intensity of light is required for the focus of light. So therefore, usually the self-focusing will occur only for laser beam. So it is a third order nonlinear process and hence it is possible only for laser okay so normal light for normal light we cannot have such kind of phenomena okay so thanks for watching this video so with this uh, we have discussed we have completed uh, all the uh, the phenomena of uh, the nonlinear optics related to our syllabus. But apart from this, there are many other uh, phenomena uh, available uh, in nonlinear world. Okay, but uh, it's not required for us. So the idea is to give some idea about the nonlinear optics. So although the theory seems to be very simple, but uh, practically to attain uh, or to uh, illustrate this uh, nonlinear phenomena is a very uh, difficult task. That is, uh, uh, the, the piece matching condition is a real problem. Uh, if the, the orientation of the crystal has to be uh, very exactly, it has to be placed very exactly, then only we can get um, the piece matching condition to produce for producing uh, the different nonlinear processes. Okay, uh, so uh, the, the, the two topics, uh, what we are reminding is the differential equation or the wave equation of uh, the nonlinear media is that it's very simple. So we can simply uh, do it. It's a very simple derivation because we already studied in detail about um, how to derive the wave equation of uh, electromagnetic waves and all. So that's the same way that is for linear media, we have done it. And uh, for nonlinear media, only the additional term will come Then we can do it very easily. So that is the one thing is remaining. And the other thing is uh, the phase matching condition. Okay, so these two aspects we'll discuss in the next class. Uh, maybe uh, one or two lectures required for it. So with that, we'll finish this uh, module. Okay, so take care, bye.